Boo! Hi, Wildcats. On today's episode of the Cat Side News, we have potions, ravens, and socks and sandals. Stay tuned. Hello, this is Neil. I'm here with yesterday's mock election results. Since Novi High School is legally not one of the 50 states in the United States or the District of Columbia, we did not have an electoral college system. All candidates were either elected or not elected through a truly popular vote. Here we go. There were a total of 727 qualifying ballots cast. The proposal to approve funding for parks was passed with 82.2% yeses. School board. Klebert won 38% of the vote, Smith had 35.4%, and Roney got 26.5% of the votes. Democrat Kelly Breen won the state rep position with 64.4%. Democrat Debbie Dingle won the house rep position with 59.4%. Democrat Alyssa Slotkin won the senate position with 53.6%. The Democratic Kamala Harris Tim Walls ticket won with 64.2%. Quick note, it's pronounced Kamala, not Kamala, not Kamabla. Saying Kamala is like saying Donald. It's just not the correct pronunciation. Anyway, that's it for the election report. I'll see you next week. Good day. What up, Wildcats, and happy Halloween. Welcome back to your sports broadcast for Thursday's episode of the Cat's Eye News. Tomorrow night, Novi Varsity Football takes on West Bloomfield for the first round of playoffs at home. Be there in your pajamas at 7 o'clock as the theme is PJs and get ready to cheer on your Wildcats. And on Wednesday, your Novi Varsity cross country team had a meet where the boys team placed first and the girls team placed fourth. Hey Wildcats, are you ready to dance? The Black Student Alliance Club will be hosting Hustling with Kaylana, where she'll be teaching you some of the hustles in the black community. Attention Novi, there is no school tomorrow, Friday, and there's also no school on Monday and Tuesday next week. Please do not show up, no one else will be there. Hey Wildcats. Your Novi Varsity field hockey team had the best season in Novi history this year. We talked to some seniors to hear their thoughts on it. Um, we finished third in the state, which is the best finish we've ever had in Novi field hockey history. Um, before that, the highest we placed was fourth, and that was the past two years. We are conference champions, beating everyone in our conference by three goals or over. I'm really satisfied with the way we ended our season. Um, obviously, we would have um, wanted to go to the state finals because we were really close in our semifinal game. Um, but I think it was a good way to end it. We ended it really hard and really strong. My co-captain Sophia Gambari ended the season as the highest goal scorer and assist scorer in the state, so I'm really excited about that for her. She's committed to the University of Michigan to play next year, so I'm super proud of her. I think overall the season was a lot of fun. It, we were pretty successful and it was really fun to see all our hard work pay off. It was really fun to you know, come this far with um, such a great team, such great coaches. I think we had a really good season. We definitely um, had really good team chemistry. We all um, were so happy to see each other at practice every day and we just played really well. I think it was probably my favorite season. My favorite memory was our last game because we just played really hard, we put everything out there, and even though we lost, it was still um, a really close game. I felt like we said goodbye in a really good way. Thank you to the entire field hockey program for all of your hard work this season. We can't wait to see what you accomplish next year. Have a great day, Wildcats. What's up, Novi? Today, we are watching Smile 2 at Imagine. We're gonna be ranking this on three different categories, story, spookiness, and quality. What's up guys? We just got back from watching the movie. It was a lot of smiling. <laughs> but we're gonna start with the first category. We're gonna go over the story of the movie. It was a continuance of the first one, so it kind of followed the same plot in a way, but it followed this girl. So her name was Skye, and she was this singer. And then one of her friends was infected by the smile monster. And then pretty much, we're not gonna try and spoil anything big, but pretty much she got possessed by the smile monster. So she's trying to deal with it while she's on tour 
her. She's like hallucinating. I feel like the story didn't really ever trail on. There's maybe a few slow parts. Yeah, I would agree with that. The first part was kind of just like nothing was really happening, but then it exponentially got more crazy during the end. But my rating for the story, I actually thought it was really good. I would personally give the story a 9 out of 10. I'd agree with that. I'd also give the story a 9 out of 10. Next up, we got spookiness and jump scares. It maintained a pretty good level of spookiness through the movie. It's not the scariest movie that I've ever seen. Honestly, it was probably more of on the low side, but I think the entire story itself and the, just the way that they did it, it worked out very well together. And just because it's not the scariest, I'm gonna give the spookiness a 7 out of 10. I think this movie was pretty spooky. There's a lot of good moments that did build up to it, and also a lot of moments that it just be like a normal scene, and then out of nowhere, just kind of change to something spooky and scary, which I enjoyed myself. There were some pretty unsettling scenes in there that just added to the whole atmosphere of it. I think the spookiness in this movie was by far better than the first movie. Mm -hmm. I'll give this one an 8 on the spook scale. Alright, our final category, we have quality. Now, I actually thought it was very good. I thought the CGI in this movie was really good. It was really impressive. The smiling was pretty nice. The smiling monster, it was done very well. It was very spooky. I liked the different camera angles they used. They did some first person shots. That definitely upped the spookiness. All the actors were very good actors. <laughs> There's no part of the movie where I thought, Hmm, that's bad. <laughs> and now my rating for the quality of the movie. Again, I thought it was really well done. It looked really good. I'm gonna give it a 9.5 out of 10 for quality. I'll give it a 9.5 as well. So my final rating for this movie, I'm gonna give it a 9.2 out of 10. It's a very good horror movie. It's worth the price for sure. Go check it out. Overall, this is a great movie. I'll give it a 9.5 out of 10. That'll wrap up our Smile 2 review. We'll see you next time. That was spooktacular. That's going in. <laughs>
What's up, Novi? Today, we are here at Dunkin' Donuts to review the tea potion drop. There's two new drinks and two new donuts. Let's go check them out. What's up, guys? We're back as well. Yeah, we're back, and we're gonna do this again. What's up, guys? We just got back, and we are ready to review. First up, this is the potion macchiato. I got the warm one. They got the cold ones, so we're gonna be ranking those. So let's start with the warm. I'm not the biggest fan of coffee, but this is actually very good. Coffee? Jack. I'm gonna give the warm macchiato an 8.5 out of 10. Oh, it kind of tastes like it smells. It's actually not that bad. I like it. I think it's pretty good. I really liked like the flavor. You could tell it's coffee, but it's got a nice sweet flavor to it, like down at the bottom. Um, I'll give it a 9 out of 10. So what I was tasting was the syrup at the bottom. Took a taste of the coffee and it's really bad. The syrup's good, so for that part, I think I'm gonna give it a 5. I kind of like it. I really like it, if I'm being honest here. I'd give it a good old 9.25 out of 10. The ice one is a bit better than the warm one. I'm gonna give the ice one a 9 out of 10. All right, next up, we got the spider donut, and in the time that we got it and got back here, they kind of fell apart a little bit. Graydon's inside. His is inside. <laughs> Mine is so many, like, fingerprints on it. They're not from me. <laughs> It tastes like a normal donut. <laughs> That's spooky, all right. It just tastes like a normal donut with a chocolate donut on top. That's not saying it's bad, though. It's good. It's just kind of boring. I give it, like, a six. There's, like, nothing different flavor-wise at all. It's really just... Whoa, spider. So I'll give it a 7 out of 10. There's nothing different flavor-wise. They changed the design of it, but it tastes the exact same, so there's really nothing special about it. I'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10. It's a donut, and it's spooky. And I like that. It tastes good, so I'm gonna give it a 7.5 out of 10. Did you get scared by the donut? Well, I was scared of the fingerprints on the donut. <laughs> Next up, we got the Halloween Munchkins, is what they're called on the menu. Same problem. They don't taste any different than normal. I give it a 7. I like the donut more, but that's just because I'm prefer the donut over these little guys. It's just no different. It doesn't even look spooky. It looks like a little corn ball. They taste kind of bland, and they're not really spooky. I don't know how sprinkles equal scary. Nothing amazing, so I'll give it a five. It's the same problem. It's boring. The big donut's definitely better, and just, it's really bland. I'm gonna give it a six out of ten. These were pretty spooky, because this one had a bite out of it when I opened the box. I always knew that had something wrong with your <laughs> And there was like a bunch spilled in the bag. That was the spookiest part. I gotta give it a 6 out of 10. Overall, we're gonna give this meal a 7.5 out of 10. The drink is the one thing that really pulls it up. Like, the donuts are still good, but they're bland, and they don't really fit the Halloween spirit. Not spooky enough. I wasn't I wasn't scared. Really just normal donuts with a little bit of whoa, spider. The spookiest part about this was what the workers did to my meal. <laughs> the donuts are very bland and boring, like everybody has said. Could have made these at home. New development. They gave me 11 munchkins instead of 10, so that's that's gonna boost my rating to a 6.5, so I appreciate the extra donut. Just not the bite in that one. Maybe that just made up for the bite that they took in the other one. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think she likes the donut review? I mean, look, she wants yeah. some. I mean, look. That was our Dunkin' Halloween review. Happy Halloween! What's up, Wildcats? Do you want your story featured on the Cat's Eye News? Email us at nhscatseyenews at gmail.com. You like that little boogie I hit, Wildcats? Yeah, me too. Thanks for watching today's episode. We'll see you next time. And stay groovy, Wildcats. 